Happy February 4th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Merrick died and then was resurrected here in the throne room. He's a bit out of sorts, I imagine, and I think it'd be strange story-wise for him to be able to play the Sunday Lottery today, and Amber, honestly, is the least of his troubles. <laughs> Imagine dying and being resurrected has an impact on how one goes about the rest of their day, so I think we'll just leave Merrick here to have a bit of a sit and think about life and how badly he wants that leaf from the Tree of Seasons, and we'll, uh, we'll go meet a new friend. Our sixth and final introductory character is... Sill Blackbolt. That aside, let's open find her in the book here. Merrick. Merrick. Sill Blackbolt. Skunk Lightseeker. Okay. Sill Blackbolt has worked her entire career training for the moment she could finally accept the oath of the Royal Guard. Today is the first day she serves the realm in the Crown Spire Castle as protector and keeper of the Royal Queen Enid Sagebloom and her family. Um, when we played Korra, the guard, it was the guard's first day. I don't think it gave us the guard's name. Maybe this is, uh, maybe that was Syl. Syl harnesses the power of light to protect and heal. She can channel solar energy into her sword, strikes, and create dazzling light beams to smite enemies. She can also create a protective light shield and emit orbs of healing radiance to mend wounds. Okay, this is sounding pretty spectacular. Look at that shield. Uh, okay, this is cool. Let's see. Sil Blackbolt's gentle and nurturing nature but fierce dedication to justice make her a calming presence amidst chaos and a symbol of hope for those around her. You'll use this character for the following few pages until told otherwise, etc., etc. Uh, nope, no pet for Syl. Talk didn't have a pet either, and Merrick. So three of our characters can't come with pets. Uh, well... Cosmetic pets, I guess. There are pets I think we can get. They might serve a purpose, I'm not sure. But let's see. Sill. Uh, health, 9 max. She doesn't have the most health of everybody. That's on the low end, I think, at least of our last few, <clears throat> few characters. Attack is high. Defense is high. Damage is 8. It's not too shabby. Uh, high strength. Everything else is kind of in the middle, plus, is plus or minus one. Intimidating. Add plus two to all rolls to threaten and intimidate. Uh, I, I, yeah, she's a skunk. <laughs> if you see a skunk, you better uh, mind your manners. Uh, surges. You have one surge you can use to activate your surge abilities. Somebody else said something like this. Maybe it was um, Quill. So she can use a surge to either do luminous shield or solar flare. Luminous shield add d4 to a single defense roll. Solar flare add d4 to a single damage roll. Okay, weapon broadsword amber zero. She hasn't been paid yet. All right, that is still. She's got a potion of some sort on her belt here. Looks like a potion of solar energy. Just cool star in a bottle all right i think that's it we'll say goodbye for today and begin our adventure with sill tomorrow i hope you'll join us thanks for watching